Hello! This is a demonstration to showcase how Power BI can be used by the executives of a professional services company to oversee financial and operational performance. In this video, I will demonstrate one of Intigen solutions that utilizes Power BI with data about revenue, project costs and billable hours from professional services automation software. In the Revenue and Cost Analysis report, we can see revenue and cost comparisons. We can also see which business units and clients bring the most revenue to the company. The top left part of the report shows the company's actual and forecast revenue for the year. Below is a visual comparing the forecast to actual revenue. When we hover over the visuals, we can see exact figures. The centre visual shows the comparison between cost and actual and expected revenue per month. Power BI is interactive, so when we click on the 2017 April bar, the visuals only highlight data from that month. Looking at this bar graph, we can see that there is a dip in both cost and revenue in December and January, which is most likely due to the holiday season. After seeing this trend occur every year, executives have suggested employees to take leave during these months which is one of the main reasons of the cost being lower than an average month. On the left hand side of the screen, the report lists the company's top 10 most valuable clients and shows the amount of revenue they have brought over the year. The next table shows the actual revenue for each of the company's business units for the current year. On the right is a visual representation of the proportion of actual cost and actual revenue brought in by each business unit. Each business unit is represented by how many billable hours were reported, which is reflected by each circle size. The visual indicates that the consulting and development business units in the US have brought in most of the company's total revenue in the past year. Using this report, executives can keep track of the revenue and costs of the company and ensure that the cash flow is thriving. Moving to the project analysis report, we get an overview of the company's projects over the current year. On the top left hand side of the screen, we have cards showing total billable hours and total hours booked in the current year. The difference between these two figures indicate that resources are not always booked for projects. On the top of the report, we have slices we can use to filter data by company, business unit, practice and service line. When we select the Bespoke Solutions New York service line, the entire report filters to show only data related to the service line. This is useful for drilling down and viewing the performance of specific teams. In the centre of the report, we see the total billable hours by month. Using this visual, executives can see which months are busier and can plan resources and budgets around this. To the right, we can see the count of projects by month and we can see that there is a spike in active projects in March. This is also reflected in the total billable hours by month. On the bottom centre part of the report, we see revenue by project type. This shows that the majority of projects are low to mid-level for the Bespoke Solutions New York service line. To an executive, this shows the need to investigate what kind of contracts are being employed and evaluate current revenue margins. On the right, is the count of projects by project hour. As indicated by this visual, we can see that most of the projects are doing well. As a whole, this report is useful for executives to ensure that projects are on track and company operations are going well. This report has helped a general manager keep track of their operations, as shown that this is the case for the Bespoke Solutions New York service line. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how executives can utilise Power BI to oversee a company's financial and operational performance. For more information, please visit our website.